Hi, I'm Forrest Tanaka. Tonight I'm going to do a shoot based on a suggestion left by someone on one of my last YouTube videos, and that is to shoot some silverware. Now this is tricky because, um, at least for the silverware with a mirror-like surface, or any object with a mirror-like surface, you're not only taking a picture of the object, you're also taking a picture of everything the object reflects, which in a lot of cases could be the entire room. So this becomes a tricky thing, because not only do you need to compose your subject, in this case, silverware, you also have to compose everything around the subject so that you get the reflections that you want. So we'll take a look at this. The scenario I'm putting together for this is that uh, these photos are for a website. So I'm going to make up um, a silverware company and make up a fake website for them that I'll show you at the end using these photos. So let's take a look at how I set this up. First, let's look at the surface. This is uh, just a piece of foam core, a large foam core that I got from a picture frame company. And they're pretty cheap. It makes a nice white surface. You could also use a dark surface that would make a nice contrast with the uh, silverware. Um, I tend to like sort of this really clean white look, so that's why I chose a white foam core for this. You can see the silverware is resting there. Now, how I wanted the light to fall on the silverware is to have a broad uh, white area on the left side of it, a broad area on the, and a broad area on the right side of it. And so to do that, I made this uh, tent. Uh, here's half of it here. This is just an old piece of foam core. And I'll add another piece over here shortly. And to light this, I'm just going to use two strobes. Uh, here's This one is the 430EX. And I'm just going to put this on the floor, down here, pointing up, and it'll pour its light through this little slit, basically, where I'll put the tent. And I'll put another strobe on this side, on the floor as well. The light will go up through this slit, bounce off of this foam core and onto our silverware. And so let me complete this tent. Put this other piece of foam core here. And that's our tent. We'll try a shot with this tent first and then uh, we'll see what problems that we run into and we'll fix them. Okay, now I have my tent set up. I have strobes turned on on the floor on the left and right side. I have my Rado Popper Junior X transmitter here. Uh, let's see, this is my Canon 40D uh, set to ISO 640 right now and uh, a shutter speed of 1 200th, which is almost the maximum sync speed for this camera. And the aperture set to f9. This is a 50mm f1.4 prime lens. Chosen this because um, for this shot, I want the whole thing to be sharp, uh, corner to corner sharp, and this lens is really good for that. So I'll give this a try, and I need to shoot through this little slot in the top of this tent, and let's see how that goes. The spoons look okay. The problem are the forks and especially the knife look like they're covered in charcoal because they're actually reflecting the ceiling of my house which is not being illuminated by the strobes so they show up as nearly black here. To solve that problem you need to add one more reflective surface or one more surface for the silverware to reflect off of that's white. So I'm going to add one more piece of white foam core to reflect off of the blade of the um, knife. And where I'm going to add that will be on top. Balance precariously here. I still need to leave a little slot for me to shoot through. And that should add quite a bit of light to the image and definitely make a nice, not a white, but a nice light gray surface for the um, knife to bounce off of. So let's give that a try. Camera set to the exact same settings. 
and I'll take the shot. This looks much better. The tines of the fork and the blade of the knife are now a nice light gray color, so this photo works for me. Now that I'm done with the straight shots, I'm going to take a couple of close-ups. Now for that, instead of using the light tent, I'm going to use this thing that I got just recently. This is a softbox. There's a panel, diffusion panel in front. But this one's kind of unusual. This is called the Westcott Apollo. And what's unusual about it is instead of the strobe at the back poking through a hole, uh, through a speed ring, this takes a standard umbrella mount. This uh, softbox, instead of having a hole in the back, has an umbrella shaft and it goes through just a regular uh, umbrella bracket and onto a tripod stand, a uh, light stand. And so you take your strobe, 580EX here, mount it into the bracket, and then move the panel down after you turn it on, of course. And after you seal it all up, you have a uh, softbox. I set up the softbox right there. And because the spoons with their bowls can reflect so much of the room, I also just propped up these two pieces of foam cord to block off any extra room reflection. <clears throat> this time I'll be taking the shot from a low angle with a wide depth of field and that way, or sorry, a wide aperture to reduce the depth of field and so we get some nice bokeh. I'll focus on the forks because they have many sharp points that'll be nice to look at and the spoons will be in the bokeh, a little out of focus uh, because, which is nice because since they reflect so many things it'll be nice to have those reflections to be a little blurry. And now I need to switch cameras to my 5D Mark II and my 28 to 70, sorry, 24 to 70 f2.8 lens. Um, I now have to skip ahead because it's that camera and lens that's recording this video right now. So I'll switch cameras and then see you after the shoot. Well, I finished all the close-up shots and post-process all of the shots and put together a fake website for a fake silverware company. So let's take a look at how that looks. And you can see I named this fake company Stellis, which if I'm not mistaken is Latin for stars. And I've called this line of silverware the Selenium line. Uh, so I just made a couple logos for that. And now we can take a look at how I put the photos in here. This is a little bit unusual for a website that I do, that I make the photos this big, but uh, I thought it looks nice for a product like this. And so the first one through is the straight shot that I did, and then one of the close-ups, and last, this close-up on a napkin. So we have this animated slideshow, it integrates real nicely with that, and we have this animated menu as well, uh, pretty much just for fun. I've never actually used this on a real website, but it's a nice idea that came from a web developer named So Tanaka. No relation, Tanaka is a common name. And so, that's our site. So I hope this helps you when you take uh, photos of shiny things, and I hope the, the um, softbox, the Westcott Apollo, was interesting as well. Um, I'm finding it very useful, although I'm still learning how to use it. Uh, since we have this uh, animated slideshow and uh, animated menu, it may appear that I coded this website in Flash, and actually it's just HTML4, not HTML5, just HTML4 with uh, the jQuery JavaScript library. And uh, so it works on any web browser, including an iPhone. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.